Hey y'all, it's frittata time. As always, frittatas are a great way to make eggs for a crowd and a great way to make eggs for leftovers. As you may know by now, I don't often think that eggs are that great as leftovers, but frittatas are one of the notable exceptions. This frittata especially is great for eating the next day because the bacon and mushrooms have a little time to sit and somehow seem to mature in flavor. But if you eat the whole thing in one sitting and don't have any leftovers, I wouldn't blame you for that either. It's pretty awesome straight out of the oven. This recipe gives you the option for a little feta, but if your body doesn't do well with dairy, you absolutely don't have to include it. Let's get cooking. Start by heating an oven-proof pan over a medium-low flame. Then cook the bacon for five minutes. Then add the mushrooms, a pinch of salt and pepper. Cook for another five minutes. Turn the flame off. Turn the broiler on and in a medium bowl, add a little salt and pepper to your whisked eggs. Add the bacon and mushrooms to the eggs and stir to mix. When you add the bacon, don't just pour it into the bowl. You want to keep the bacon fat in the skillet. Next, you're gonna add the kale to the bowl and push down as much as you can. Then reheat the skillet over a medium low heat. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the pan is evenly coated in the bacon fat by gently rolling it around the pan. You can also add a little oil at this point if the bacon didn't produce enough fat. Now pour in the egg mixture, making sure the veggies are evenly spread out. This will help it cook evenly. Then you're gonna cook for five to eight minutes until the edges are firm but the middle is still jiggly. At this point, you could add that little bit of feta cheese on top before moving it to the broiler. Now you're gonna move the skillet to the broiler and cook for another one to three minutes or until the eggs are set on top. Watch it very closely to make sure it doesn't burn. As I've told you guys before, I have definitely burned a lot of things by not watching the broiler. Cool for at least a few minutes before cutting. Plate up and dig in.